Now we're going to have a go at putting a door in this wall. But you may remember from our plan that we actually created two separate walls. So we're going to have to do something a little bit more fiddly than normal. So what we're going to do is, um, not a wall, sorry, um, we want a door. And I'm going to use the fire escape doors that come preloaded in Revit and stick that in the outer wall. But as we can see, the inner wall, um, which is ideal for our columns because we don't want to have that overlap in geometries, um, has no gap. So what I'm going to do now is go to the View tab, create a section, stick that in by here and just mirror that around that way. OK. And then I'm going to go to that section view and click on the wall. And we can see the outline of the door by there. But now I'll just click on the wall opening command. And it will just roughly put an opening by there. And now if I go to the edge of that opening, I can zoom in on each side and just drag this to line up with the opening of the doorway on the outer skin. So I'll just take a moment to do that. There we go, back in here. Zoom in a bit more if you can't get it quite right. Zoom out and then finally down the bottom and we just want it to line up with the ground level. There we go. All right, and click off it. And now there is our wall and we can see that in 3D. And we've got the fire doors by there and on the inside we can see them there as well. And that's how we can put the door through that double skin of wall, as it were.